Hey y'all, it is Wednesday. It is, um, what is it, May 13th? May 13th already, 2020, so crazy. Um, we are here for work on it Wednesday. You guys did a beautiful job um, learning about the tool yesterday. Our tool was the personal space tool. Um, but before we jump into work on it Wednesday, we're gonna work on our personal space. Um, I want us to do our quick body check-in and calm ourselves and check in by using our breathing tool. So let's take three deep breaths together. You guys ready? Okay. Last one. Good job. Okay, so um, let's do a really quick feelings check-in. I've got a couple feelings. I am having one of those mornings where I I set my intentions, and what I mean by that is I kind of I knew the things that I wanted to get done, I intended to get done, um, and I did them all. And I'm just feeling this right now. That one is proud, proud. I am feeling really proud of myself this morning because I had lots of things to do. I was pretty tired when my alarm went off, but I persevered. I woke up, I got my stuff done, and I feel really good about it. So I'm proud of myself. Um, my next feeling, you guys know what this one is? I've showed it to you before. Grateful. Um, I'm feeling grateful this morning. I, um, I have lots of reasons to be grateful and every day I'm trying to remind myself of at least one thing that I'm grateful for. Um, and the reason for that is because, you know, gratefulness is, it's like a muscle. You've got to work it out. You've got to constantly remind yourself of the things that you're grateful for. Um, especially now it's okay to feel big feelings and feel sad and, um, feel at a loss at times, but, um, you know, it's also helpful to remind yourself of the things that you're grateful for. So, um, this morning I was extremely grateful for my cup of coffee. I was also really grateful for, um, my kiddos who ran and gave me hugs this morning. Um, and I'm super grateful to be back here with you. So what are you feeling? How are you today? How are you on this beautiful hump day, Wednesday? Um, let's go ahead and take this time to turn and talk with our family members if you're with them, or take out your journal or an email to me and share how you're feeling today and why. Go ahead and press pause and do that now. All right, guys, good job and welcome back. Let's get to this work on it Wednesday. So. We went over the the um, personal space tool. Tagline is, I have a right to my space, as do you. Um, or I guess it's, and so do you. <laughs> it is, maybe I should just hold it up and read it. I have a right to my space, and so do you. Um, and I know that some of you did use your yarn and your string, and you guys um, did come up with your personal space. And if you didn't, that's okay. Some of us don't actually need to use this tool to find our personal space because we just know it so well. Um, and I know that some of you also were reflective on the different situations and the different people and how your space looks different for all of those different situations. Um, but, you know, I thought it would be a really great idea to just review the personal space and work on it with my friend Hugtopus. And um, so let's let's just have a hugged puss day. I thought what I would do because I know that most of you have met hugged puss, and I know um, most of you have um, gotten to know hugs pretty well. But um, I also know that there's some parents out there, or just some kinders or new students who aren't super familiar with hugged puss, and. Um, Hugs is the perfect example of why personal space is important. Um, so I'll just quickly introduce Hugs, some of the really fun things that we really like about her. I always go between her and him. I think Hugtopus is kind of an either or. 
hug someday I think is a her and someday is a him. Um, and then I'm also going to read you guys Hugged a Puss's book, which is a really, really good book and I think illustrates the need for personal space and self-control really, really well. Um, so here's Hugs. Hugged a Puss um, is what? An octopus, right. Um, and Hugged a Puss absolutely loves hugs. And when I say Hugged a Puss loves hugs, I mean, oh, Hugged a Puss, calm down. Hugged a Puss just gives hugs 24 hours. <laughs> Seven and definitely does not recognize people's personal space very often. I am constantly having to use my personal space tool at hugs. Um, I personally like that about Hugtopus though. Hugtopus is full of energy. Hugtopus is always smiling, big smile on her face. And I feel like every time Hugtopus sees somebody, Hugs just wants to have a good time. Just wants to get silly, wants to play games, wants to laugh. Um, and come on, look at Hugtopus. It just makes you smile looking at her, right? Um, but a couple things about her. She lives on Komochi Way, just like the other Komochi friends. And um, kind of fun fact, which is interesting after our video yesterday, Hugtopus lives with Bug. Bug, who I introduced yesterday as our more quiet, introverted friend. They could not be more opposite from each other, but they are best friends, and they live together. And in, hu in um, Bug's treehouse, Hugtopus has like this water hole um, in the middle of their living room, and she jumps in there at night, and that's where she sleeps. And they also have a pool, so it's very appropriate for Hugtopus, because Hugs loves the water, right? Um, Hugtopus also loves the color pink. It's her favorite, favorite color. And it also happens to be the same color as her most favorite thing to munch on. I guess more like just chew. And that's bubble gum. Hugtopus loves all food. Hugtopus has yet to taste a food that she doesn't love. But her favorite thing is bubble gum. She goes nuts over bubble gum. Um, but like I mentioned before, you know, she is a really, really hyperactive friend who has tons of energy and because of that she does not recognize people's personal space. In fact, she's often cutting in line. She's often stepping on your toes and bumping into you and pushing you over. None of it is in a mean way. She doesn't mean the mistakes that she makes. They're usually smaller mistakes like I've mentioned before. She is the type of friend who um, makes little mistakes and is always apologizing and saying sorry. But, um, you know, she's just so full of energy and she has a harder time controlling herself and recognizing the space that people around her want and deserve to have. So it's something that she's definitely working on. Um, but she's got three feelings inside of her and I want to share them with you. So this very first feeling, and just like us, you guys, the Kamochis feel their feelings inside, and Hugtopus is actually holding her feelings in her mouth right now, which is very appropriate. Um, so Hug's first feeling is this one. Do you guys remember this feeling? Excited! Hugtopus is excited almost 24 seven. Hugs wakes up in the morning and is super excited. Can't wait to get outside and see people and do things and learn new things and try new things. And Hugs is just always ready for anything. She's just always excited. She's that friend who wakes up feeling very optimistic. Um, Hugtopus also feels silly. Of course, Hugtopus is like the silliest goofiest friend. I love that about hugs. And then the last feeling about Hugtopus is I think a pretty important thing about her. This feeling is, oh it's a really long feeling guys. It is embarrassed. Have you ever felt embarrassed before? Feeling embarrassed, it's kind of hard to explain. Sometimes when people feel embarrassed, um, they feel like people are maybe laughing at them or they feel like all eyes are on them. Maybe you tripped and you fell and you dropped your lunch everywhere and everyone's turned and looked at you and people are laughing. You might feel your face get red. Maybe you're in the spelling bee and you got a word wrong and you feel really embarrassed about it. 
maybe, um, I don't know, maybe, you know, you're wearing your hair a new way and, and you feel like you really don't like it and people are making lots of comments and it's making you feel really embarrassed. Um, you know, maybe you forgot your homework assignment and your teacher asks you in front of everybody where your homework assignment is. You might be feeling pretty embarrassed. Well, Hugtopus feels embarrassed because there's something very different about her. And I love this about her so, so much. So the different thing about hugs, well, actually, let's just go ahead and uh, count her legs together. So octopus have how many legs? Eight. Thus, their name is octopus. So let's count her legs, and then I'll explain why she sometimes feels embarrassed. You guys ready? One two, three, four, five, six. Hugtopus only has six legs. That's okay, Hugs. Hugtopus was only born with six legs. So all of her siblings and her friends who are, who are octopus, they have eight legs, but she has always only ever had six. So she's different. It doesn't mean that she doesn't give the squishiest and best hugs. It doesn't mean that she can't swim way faster than me. It just means that she looks different from the rest of her friends. And so sometimes she does feel really embarrassed about that. I tell her all the time, it's okay that you feel embarrassed, but it's also okay to be different. Being different is beautiful and we're all different in our own special ways. And I've even explained to Hugtopus, I'm different because I learn different, because I have a learning disability. And that sometimes makes hugs feel better, but <laughs> I love you too, hugs. See, she gives hugs when she feels more comfortable. <laughs> um, but um, it's really important to remember that all the little special things about you that make you different, it's not a bad thing. It's a beautiful thing. Just like the book that we read last week that was all about us and all the beautiful things about us. Um, so that's something about Hugtopus that Hugs has to work on as well. Not just her extreme hyperactive personality, constantly bumping into people, not recognizing people's personal space, and letting her big yellow zone feelings interrupt people and kind of ruin situations sometimes. She's got to work on that. But she also has to work on, you know, some of her self-esteem every so often and remind herself, like, it's okay that she's different. In fact, the fact that she's different is really what makes her so beautiful. Um, okay, let's go back to personal space with Hugtopus because um, Hugtopus is absolutely that friend that has to work on calming herself down. I really quickly, um, because I think what I'm going to do, like I've done in the past, is I think I'm going to make a separate video with the book because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just really quickly go over um, the two things that I really like about Hugtopus that I like to use with Hugtopus. Um, and the first one is the obvious personal space tool. Hugtopus is that friend who does cut in line and who does interrupt you and um, who does really get into your personal space. And I've shown you a couple times, like she hugs me a lot. She's kind of always really, really close to me. And sometimes I don't mind because I'm also a hugtopus. And sometimes I'm just not in the mood. Sometimes I'm tired. Sometimes I'm grumpy. And I don't really want hugtopus in my personal space. And so what I do every time is I use my personal space tool. And I just say in a really kind way, Hey, Hugs, can I have a little space? And I just do it really gently. And Hugtopus is great about noticing, like, okay, I'm in Jen's personal space and she wants me to back up. Um, and it works every time. If you live with a Hugtopus or if you are a Hugtopus or if you know someone who is a Hugtopus and you need some space every so often, if they're getting too hyper and too in your face, you have every right to put your hands up and say, oh, hey, can we come, can we just settle down a little bit? Um, another thing I like to do, like if it's a quiet situation and I'm with Hugtopus and Hugs is um, maybe a little too wacky or getting in my way, I'll sometimes just tell her in a nonverbal way again, calm down, calm down a little, bring it down a little bit, 
just come down just a little bit. Now I'm not doing this because again, that's not very kind and I don't want to be mean to hug the puss. I instead want her to just know, hey, just calm down a little bit. But my um, one of my favorite things that I like to teach students with hugged puss here is what to do when you are hugged puss or when you are that person who is getting into people's personal space or you have way too much energy, you're just acting way too yellow zone silly. My favorite I guess you can say strategy to use is the hug strategy. It works perfect for hug depicts because hug depicts loves to hug. She's got six legs. She's got to wrap them around lots of people. But I also love to hug, and so this is one of my faves. So when I have a lot of energy or I just have a lot going on and I need to calm myself down, I will put my arms out and go ahead and do this with me. I'll put my arms out. And then I will wrap them around me. Go ahead and wrap yourself. And I'm going to hug myself as hard as I can for five seconds. You guys ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. And then take a deep breath. Feels pretty good. Let's do that one more time. So put your arms out. Wrap your body up and squeeze as hard as you can for five seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, take a deep breath. So what I'm doing with that strategy is I'm taking all the energy that I want to throw out there, I'm wrapping myself, I'm using it on myself, and then I'm releasing it out. I love using that one. That's a really, really, really good one for this friend right here, for this friend right here, and for you guys when you're very yellow zone, very silly, and when you're the one getting into people's personal space. Because remember, the personal space tool is I have a right to my, to my space, and so do you. So it's recognizing that you have a right to your personal space, but having the responsibility to understand others have that right as well. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you. <laughs> if you want to read Hugtopus's book, um, go ahead and click the other link. I'm going to just record this separately. Um, but you know what? If that's all you needed from my dear friend Hugtopus and from me for this beautiful Wednesday, um, that is all good. Thanks for click and play and thanks for working on your personal space tool with me today. I know that you guys are going to get lots of practice in your homes and just, you know, even going to the grocery store, you're going to have lots of practice of recognizing other people's personal space and respecting yours as well. So just keep working on it. Um, you guys know I want you to stay happy and I absolutely want you to stay healthy. I will see you guys tomorrow for Thoughtful Thursday. Oh my gosh, tomorrow's Thursday. These weeks are flying by now. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you, I miss you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.